Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to build a first aid kit in roll-up style using this Andrews Corner first aid kit organizer. Alright everybody, welcome back. Now, I'm just going to say off the top, for the, for the purpose of this video, this really isn't the focus, the product itself. This is just something that I wanted to get to use to set up a better first aid roll-up kit and being that our ham radio club is doing the public safety communications for the parade this weekend I wanted to have it filled up and ready before I go out there because I always take one now if you've been watching my channel for a while you probably remember this one I did and this was a jewelry roll-up thing that's very very small compared to this um, and it's got first aid stuff in it but I wanted to expand it a little bit better to be able to put some more supplies in there and better supplies in it so we're gonna use some of the stuff in here and this, but first I want to give you a little bit of information about this. Let me open it up for you. It's quite large, actually. I don't know if I can get that all. Yeah, you can kind of see it all in the camera there. Pull it back a little bit. There you go. It is made of 600D polyester. It's got 15 inner pockets. It's 13 inches by 36 inches, weighs 9.2 ounces, empty. And that's about it. You know, it's, you can buy these all over Amazon. Or uh, I think there's some on eBay too as well. They're fairly common items. It was uh, $24.72. You know, simple, easy item, not too expensive. But I'm going to show you why we're upgrading. Now I'm going to first of all, this has Velcro on it. This I had a tie. Now if you remember, a long time ago, I think it was earlier this year or last year, the end of last year, I bought this and I had to take a bunch of stuff off it because it wasn't made for this. It was like a jewelry roll up when you travel. So, this is the existing size of this. With this, I got a bunch of extra more pockets. Plus, they're better, more organized pockets. Some of these are big, some of these are small. It's kind of hard to put everything in one place. So, with this, I can make one of these all Band-Aids instead of Band-Aids, Band-Aids, Band-Aids. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up with what's in here, plus a few extra things. We're going to go over it. I have another little uh, first aid kit that I have here that I've opened up that I may be adding some stuff into it from. And uh, I'll bring you back once I got it filled up and ready to go, and we'll see how well it works as a roll-up first aid kit. All right, so I have everything out of the old roll-up. That's the empty one here. And the hardest part of this is, I don't need to use multiple pockets for the same thing. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna put all this together in the new one, because I have so much more room. And I think what I'm gonna do is instead of having, you know, the band-aids in three places, you have them all in one. Instead of having the sting and the alcohol wipes and stuff in three different pockets, you're going to have them all in one. So I'm going to get it together. I'm going to show you what I come up with. Uh, I'm going to be adding stuff to it too, but I want to make sure I at least get the basics in here. And I've also decided that I'm going to be upgrading these, these EMT shears. I have a decent pair here. So these are going to be going there too, so I don't really need that. And, uh... That's about it. I have a few other things I'm upgrading, like the tape, stuff like that. But uh, I'll bring you back when it's uh, pretty much on its way to being done and show you what I've added. All right, so about half an hour later, with a couple of interruptions, I uh, got this kit built, got it uh, the way I like it, and there's much more room in it. It allowed for a lot more trauma-esque supplies, like bigger bandages, um, lots of gauze, stuff like that. Something that the smaller kit didn't allow me to do. Now, the first thing you'll notice is I have two little things of paracord sticking out of the top holes there. That's really just so I can hang it. I just tied some knots on the end of these. Put it like that so I can hang it in my vehicle. If I'm in a situation where I'm helping a couple of people, I can hang this up. I don't have to put it on the ground. You know, I can hang it on a tree, whatever. Now, let's open it up and show you what's inside. The only thing, being, you know, OCD like myself, that uh, bothered me is because the pockets are bigger I'm not able to get things straight <laughs> everything's kind of just stuffed in there it's easy to get out though it's nice to have that big long you know wide area in there so quickly I'm going to show you what's inside here I'm not going to pull it all out again but I'll tell you what's in each one and we'll start off on this end I have two mylar blankets over here and I also have a thing of baby wipes in here as well a uh, small pack of baby wipes underneath under here is Rally bandage you'll notice I don't have a tourniquet in here I do want to buy one for this kit eventually, but uh, this can act as a kind of makeshift tourniquet until I can get my hands on one. Um, definitely you want a real tourniquet in here. I'll probably get a cat tourniquet next time I'm 
around a uh, medical uh, first aid place or one of the survival stores in town. So I definitely want to get that, but that will act for now. And these are awesome because they do have the, uh, you know, you tie it around, but they do have that thing where you can tighten it down. You know, the bar, the plastic, and you can wrap it around and tie it tight. So they will work as a makeshift tourniquet. Worst comes to worst, I can take off my belt. Ideally, I want a real cat tourniquet, and we're going to be putting that in here. And there's plenty of room left for it. Next up, H&H &H compressed gauze. Um, when we took our cert class, this was something we used a lot of, as well as the triangular bandages. So that's in there. Um, iPads and uh, not 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 iPads, iPads <laughs> and uh, some moleskin and some larger gauze pads. iPads again we used in our cert class for eye injuries. Very very helpful to keep that eye covered up if it's injured and wait until you get somebody around who can take care of the person. You know you need either an EMT or a doctor. Next up, got a roll of gauze. Got some sting relief spray. This is for poison ivy, but it's also sting relief. Uh, I have my own pain relief medication in here, some Aleve and some Advil. <laughs> I got a real pair of, uh, I don't know if you can see them, a real pair of um, tweezers in there because the ones I had before were a bit of a joke. These things. I mean, yeah, would they work? Yeah, they probably work, but those are real tweezers. So we got those in there. And I got the real cure adhesive tape. This stuff actually sticks. Unlike those silly little rolls they sell you that, you know, in most first aid kits that won't stick. We already did the H&H &H bandage. I also have more combined combination pads, combine pads in there. Um, abdominal pad underneath here. Underneath that, I have a chest seal and some new gauze. Over here, everything in pill form. From, um, uh, what is it, uh, antacids to aspirin to non-aspirin to... You know, upset stomach medication, to dire anti-diarrhea medication. Everything's in here in pill form. That's my one pill area. Next up here is your basic bandage section. Um, I do have a couple of, I have about four butterfly stitches in there as well. But everything else is uh, pretty much just bandage stuff. Over here, more gauze pads. And I got a bunch of them in there. They're kind of packed in there nicely. Next up here is the blood control area. I have some Celox hemostatic agent as well as some other, um, I'll show you that real quick, bleed stop. And this stuff works very, very well. I actually used it when I cut my finger rather badly. Um, definitely works well and uh, stops the bleeding. But the Celox we know works well. Underneath here, some Steri strips. And over here is actually liquid skin. This is crazy glue made for um, putting your skin back together without stitches. Uh, yes, you can use regular crazy glue in a pinch. I'd rather use that, know that there's nothing in there that's going to get in my system. But believe me, I've had a couple bad cuts on my fingers in my ears, and I've used regular crazy glue. I'm still here to talk about it. My sanity is questionable, but I'm still here to talk about it. So, definitely works well. Um, and that stuff works too. I've tested it out. It feels just like crazy glue on your fingers. You know, I, I didn't cut myself open to test it, but, you know, I just took a drop and put it there. And yeah, your fingers will stick together if you don't pull them apart quick enough. So, it, it's very strong. Next up, some cleansing wipes. This is to clean up an area that might have been injured, uh, get the infection away. And over here you have your BZK towels and your sting relief. And underneath that is all my alcohol pads. Um, in here, all ointments. Everything that's an ointment, from triple antibiotic ointment to sunburn stuff to everything in there. As well as, and these are kind of cool, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. These are uh, throwaway disposable thermometers. If I can get them to open. There we go. Next temp, disposable thermometers, or a single-use thermometer. You put it in your mouth, and you can tell the temperature by looking on the end here, um, just to see if somebody's running a fever. Again, you know, you may not need this for your first aid kit. Um, when I do this, this particular kit, what this kit does for me is when I'm out, say, at an event, okay, if somebody goes down in front of me and I'm working ham radio, of course I'm going to radio into net control and say, hey, somebody just went down in front of me, but I'm going to try to figure out what's going on maybe help them, assist them in any way I can without injuring them. Um, if I find out, you know, I feel them and they're burning up and they have 105 fever, I want to relay that information to whoever's responding. So it wouldn't be the first thing I'd pull out of my bag, but it's nice to have it in there. Also handy for yourself. Also have some ammonia smelling salts, as they're called, in there too. Um, again, probably wouldn't use that on somebody I don't know <laughs> for the liability reason, but uh, you can definitely help them any situation where they might be needed. Now, the last part, and this doesn't seal on the sides. I just want you guys to know that, so don't put something in there that's small, it's gonna slip out. In here, a couple of things of gloves. Um, I always see these first aid kits with like two pairs of gloves, and I'm like, that's cute. 
If you've ever worked on someone who's bleeding and other people come to help, make sure you have enough gloves. Trust me, <laughs> you want a bunch of gloves. So I do have extra gloves in here. I have about 10 pairs in here and four pairs in there. And yes, finally, real EMT shears. I showed you these before, but um, I just, it was funny. I was messing around with something out here. Oh, the paracord. I went to cut the paracord that I made, the little paracord hoops, and I cut it with this, and it just tore it to shreds. Of course, I burned the ends closed. You know, I used a little heat from a lighter and burned the ends closed. But these things could barely cut that. Now, they do have sharp teeth. I don't know how well they'd work on clothing, but I'd rather stick with something that I know is tried and true and has the guard there so I won't be poking anybody. Um, these are very handy for getting at injuries that are on clothing. You know, if you have to cut up somebody's pants leg to treat a burn. Um, if somebody has burned clothing on them and you don't want to hurt them, you know, you can take it off with this. Although, bad burns, I kind of leave that up to EMTs. I don't mess around with it. What I do for my own self or my loved ones may be different than what you do. Um, so I don't want to tell you, I don't want to give medical advice out, but these do work well for that kind of situation. If you have to get to, um, somebody's upper arm, say up around here to put a tourniquet on and you got to cut through this, you want a good pair of EMT shears. You don't want to be messing around with ones that are, you know, from those cheap Chinese kits. And that's what that was from. Really, uh, not the best. Also too, you can put your fingers in here. You can actually give it some pressure. This is barely put my fingers in there. And I don't have huge hands. So that kind of <laughs> was kind of useless. So that's the kit. You know, again, the, the whole thing of this really wasn't the, uh, what I bought here to put it in, but more of a kind of a thinking exercise for you guys if you're going to be setting up your own first aid kit. And it doesn't hurt to buy pre-made first aid kits and pick and choose what you like from them and build your own customizable kit. Um, I can assure you that your own kit may not have something for your allergies in it. It may not have um, your Aleve or Advil pain relief in it. Um, you may get a cheap little thing like that instead of a decent pair of tweezers. So, you know, it gives you ideas for what you want to put in yours. And I will put a link down below to this kit. And as I said before, this is the Andros Corner Survival First Aid Kit Organizer. It's not all that expensive. I think it's $24.76. So for $25, bucks, you are going to be able to have a kit that you can... Uh, Pretty much configure any way you want and this may not be its final configuration um like i said you know i may end up uh i always keep the israeli bandage in here but i may end up going with a tourniquet i may take stuff out i may put stuff in you know i may get a quick clot sponge instead of this stuff that's all going to change as time goes on this is really a backup secondary kit that i carry with me to events when i do ham radio stuff um if i'm out with cert or anything like that that's the kind of thing i take with me um if i were to go out riding on a quad this would be a good kit to take with you, you know. So uh, just give you some ideas, let you know what's out there, and um, definitely save you some money on these roll-ups because they're so cheap. You'll find them all over Amazon, um, way, way, way cheaper than what I've seen them. Um, there's, a, there's a kit they sell with the, basically it's a Band-Aid kit, and it's like $64, and it's a roll-up, and it comes with a bunch of Band-Aids and a bunch of tape and gauze, and that's about it. And it's like 60 bucks. I mean, I probably, given over the years of time that I've collected this stuff, don't have that much money in this. So, that's your idea for the day. Get out there, make yourself a homemade first aid kit. Even if you buy a first aid kit and start adding stuff to it that you need for yourself, your own prescription meds, anything like that, you're on the way. You're getting started. And I will put a link down below to this roll-up, this particular roll-up here to uh, give you some ideas on what you can pick up. And you don't have to buy this one. I just noticed this one seemed to be the most well-constructed. The stitching is really nice on it. The Velcro is very positive latching. You know, it's not one of those wimpy little, you know, it just kind of touches and pulls. It's actually a pretty decent roll-up kit. And uh, this stuff doesn't feel like it's going to rip. It's really, really thick plastic. And it is 600D polyester, so if it gets dirty or whatever, it can be wiped right off. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. I will put the link down below, like I said, but don't forget to check out our Amazon store. Um, even if there's nothing in it you want, you just click the link, use the search bar to shop as you normally would. It doesn't cost you anything, and it uh, helps us out a whole lot. Don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down below. If you're interested in getting started in some freeze-dried food for emergency preparedness, definitely a good place to start. And don't forget to register over at Olight. So anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.